Honestly, I feel like a millionaire living in this place for a couple nights. guys and welcome back to the channel. Evelyn and I are here in Phuket for our day three and guys we're super excited about today. Evelyn went ahead and booked us a spot in this place called Ayata Hilltops Boutique Resort and Spa and it's supposed to be like a four and a half star resort so man we're, we're super excited to be able to spend our last couple nights here in a little bit of luxury so let's go ahead and check this place out. maravillas primero nos dieron una pulsera de flores que huele súper rico una cada uno <ríe> está bien bonita también nos dieron una copa de té de té té frío ajá. té de, de, de limón y unas toallitas para refrescarnos todo súper nice mientras hacíamos el check-in así que ya lo hicimos ahora vamos a esperar un poquito de cómo es el hotel el área común la piscina pero la primera impresión que tengo es que es un lugar súper lujoso, se ve bien bonito, a pesar de que no es caro. Eh, se ve súper lindo, la gente es bien amable, el personal y vamos a explorar a ver qué más vemos. Me hace sentir como una millonaria sin ser millonaria. Pero creo que es hora de ver la habitación. Vamos a verla. the most about the room like what is it that really surprised you or what are your favorite things just from like walking around and checking it out me gusta que es super grande es espacioso tenemos mucho espacio el baño está fabuloso tiene una bañera tiene el baño separado y la ducha la habitación se ve super linda y limpia y huele riquísimo se siente como un olor relajante la verdad estoy relajada eh, tiene dos televisores este con el equipo de sonido y este televisor para verlo en, en la cama obviamente eh, este espacio me gusta también me da un toque bien bien de spa buen trabajo el espejo este es super grande. Yeah, they have a full size mirror there. Sí. Hay espacio para poner las maletas, suficiente espacio para todo. Toallas. Yeah, this is kind of surprising. They had all this different stuff here. Mm -hmm. So they have like bath salts and different lotions and mm -hmm. it's just really nicely set up. Sí. And then they have a Makeup station too for the ladies. <laughs> Mira esto aquí, se ve tan lindo. Sale para la bañera. Bath gel. Y aceite. 
And then they have the toilet separated. Yeah, it's a toilet. <laughs> well, and they have a phone so you can order pizza at the same time. Get the Lucia. Wow, that's pretty in there. Nice marble. And then of course they have some other shampoos and lotions and whatnot. Cool. La verdad todo se ve limpio, bonito. Me siento bien. La primera impresión, muy bien. I'll tell you what, my favorite thing though so far has to be the view from outside. You want to go ahead and check it out? Vamos a ver. Look at that view, guys. You can see everything from up here. Honestly, you almost feel like a movie star, like somebody living in Hollywood with these kind of views. That is absolutely gorgeous. Over there is Surya, I wanna say Serene? Serene Beach. And I'm guessing that's another beach over there. Cause I don't see a way, it's all interconnected unless you go like all the way around the coastline there, but absolutely gorgeous and then something that Evelyn was talking about earlier what she wanted to mention earlier was that they have this amazing architecture on all of the rooftops of all the buildings here absolutely beautiful pretty cool and then something that I'm dying to try out is this thing right here so I haven't quite figured this thing out yet I think there's supposed to be a spigot or like a like a little handle you can twist to get that thing to open and fill this up. We're gonna try and figure it out, guys. So let's see if we can figure it out. All right, so let's see if we can try to figure it out. I have no idea how to turn this thing on because honestly, I was looking earlier for a little, like I said, like a little handle or something. And so far I haven't found anything yet. Cause obviously the water comes out of here, but I don't see like a little, like a switch. There's something down there. We can try it, see what happens. I don't know. I don't think this is it. Oh. Nope, that clearly doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we want to water the plants, I guess that works, but. I don't know, we're gonna have to probably call him in the front desk and figure out how to turn this thing on. So we'll have a gupping running later. But right now, you know what I wanna do? I wanna jump in that pool that we saw earlier. I'm ready to cool off and just kinda relax and enjoy the day. All right guys, so I'm down here by the pool now. I'm about to jump in here in a second. But I first wanna just go ahead and take a second and kinda reflect on the whole situation right now. So clearly this is a lot different than the last place that we were staying. Where we were at was closer to the beach and it was down in Patong, which is more, I think, like the party district or at least it's a little bit more lively. Over here, where we're at right now in Serene Beach is a lot more secluded. It's a lot more private, a lot more quiet. So it's kind of a big contrast versus the two but man this one is absolutely gorgeous honestly I feel like a millionaire living in this place for a couple nights <laughs> it's fantastic the treatment here is fantastic as well amazing service I mean there's not really much else you could ask for and I pulled up a couple figures to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about how much it costs and honestly we're on a budget so as teachers you can't go around spending thousands of dollars at all so uh, just kind of give you a little bit of perspective for two nights it's about 12,000 baht that's about how much we paid which in the conversion rate right now, it's about $380 or about 1600 ring it. I mean, these are rounded off figures more or less, but I mean, pfft, you really can't beat the prices. I mean, in the US alone, $380 wouldn't even get you a night at like a Motel 6 or something like that nowadays. And I mean, this place has pretty much everything you could ask for. It's got a beautiful atmosphere amazing pool everything guys the food here is absolutely amazing and like I said they have been like servicing us with all sorts of different fruits and all sorts of other things and it's been fantastic so then on top of that we actually have a couple massages that we're both getting a little later on today now that maybe is about the same or more or less a little more expensive than what you'd pay in Malaysia but in the US you can't beat the price so we're paying about for work we're about to get a 55 minute massage head shoulder back whole thing for about 300 and uh, what was it? Hang on, let me pull it up here. So for both of us to get a massage, it's costing about 2,550 baht at a resort. Now granted, you could go to some like other Thai shop or some little stand down there in the, uh, gosh, what's the name of it, Patong Beach, and you could pay a whole lot less. Trust me, a whole lot less. But it, then again, you're probably gonna get 
what you pay for at the same time. Over here, you get this full atmosphere. You get to choose your oils. I mean, it's a whole experience in itself. So anyway, it's 2550 baht for the two of us to get that massage, and it's about $82 for the both of us. For Ring it, it's about 342 Now, for Evelyn's birthday, I ended up getting her a Thai massage, and it cost, I think, 200 something. I think like 280 ring it for a Thai massage at like a really nice kind of massage parlor down in uh, Monkiara. And that was only for one person. For two people, again, I, like I said, we're paying like what, 340 ring it. So, I don't know, you really can't, I don't think you could beat the price. And honestly, I don't know where else you're going to find it. But you know what? I think it's time to jump into that sweet pool. I'm sweating and I'm ready to cool off. Alright guys, we're back here in the hotel room and man, that massage was amazing. I wanted to film it, but to be honest, there wasn't really much to see. I mean, they were just massaging us, so I guess I don't think you guys really wanted to see all that. But it was absolutely worth the price. And like I said, it, it is so cheap compared to what you could probably get back in Malaysia, or at least almost the equivalent. But the atmosphere of it was just amazing. The treatment was great. I mean, they kept bringing us drinks and all sorts of like teas and stuff. It was awesome. Evelyn, what do you think about the massage? Ah, uh, wait. Yeah, you said you were having some like neck pain, right? Me gustó mucho. Las chicas fueron super amables y el masaje estuvo riquísimo. Fue cuello, espalda, hombros y cabeza. Muy bien, me gustó. Yeah, it was awesome, well, guys. If you guys are ever in the resort or if you're ever looking for a place to do something here in Phuket and you want to get a massage done, like a professional massage definitely come and check this spot out. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and relax. I'm gonna show you something that Evelyn figured out. All right, so there's not really a lot of light right now. We're outside on the balcony. I'm gonna try to show you guys as best I can with my cell phone here, but if you guys remember it, this is where that little jacuzzi pool is. Evelyn found out where the key is to open it up, and it's actually buried over here inside all of these plants. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it down there. So we're gonna fill this pool up. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our night, and it's probably gonna be it, so. Oh, uh, this is too weird. Let me go back inside. There we go. That's a lot better. Now you guys can actually see me. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to fill up the pool. We're going to eat some of our snacks. I bought these like, I don't know. I think they're sunflower seeds. I got some like barbecue flavored sunflower seeds. I think they are. I don't even know. They're kernels or something. And then I got these other ones here, which are like corn flavored. Let's see. There we go. Buttered corn. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be any good or not. I figured I would at least try something a little bit different. But either way, we're going to go ahead and fill up our little jacuzzi pool there. We're going to throw on a movie on Netflix on the laptop. And we're just going to chill outside and enjoy the rest of the night. So tomorrow, stick around. We're going to be going to the beach and we're going to be checking it out over there. It's going to be a little bit different than the one that we went to last time. I think this one's a little bit more private and maybe it's got some other things to do. So either way, stick around. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you then. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know the deal. I'll see you guys later. Peace!